What's up, Carter's Life? In the last episode, I said somebody stole my pond and a lot of you guys were confused and some of you didn't even believe me, but I'm here to show you that yes, in fact, my pond is stolen. It's literally gone. And I have proof and videos to show you exactly what happened and that it is in fact possible to have your pond stolen. Stay tuned for this crazy episode of Carter's Life. This is all going down at the Team Rar House. Guys, this is the biggest Team Rar House there is. The last one was in LA. Now we are on the East Coast and this house is over 100 acres with a huge lake that wraps around the property where we go jet skiing, boating, wakeboarding, swimming, but that is not where this pond is. This pond is actually at the front of the property. It's a smaller pond and most people wouldn't even look at it because it is small and it's gross and disgusting looking. This is what the pond used to look like. It's an old gross pond at the front of the Timar house. We've done a bunch of different things there. There's been some clips and I've showed some turtles swimming in there, some birds, just kind of shots of us driving by. And most recently, since the thing is actually really gross, we've taken the monster truck through this front pond. We bogged it, we went crazy, and you can see just how deep the mud is. You can see all the mud flying up. It's making an absolute mess. The monster truck got stuck and because it was working so hard in the mud, it actually ended up catching on fire. We had to shut it down and this caused a huge problem because we had to then winch this thing out, but we couldn't even turn the monster truck on because it would catch on fire. So we had to use the dump truck, all these pulleys and snatch blocks. We ultimately did get it out. We fixed the monster truck, everything is good but you can see the pond is really nasty. Of course I get competitive and I'm a YouTuber, so we tried the whole monster truck again. This time we took it through the long edge of the pond, hoping that it would be better. And it was, but it was also deeper. And you can see there's not that much water. It's all mud. I mean, it's multiple, multiple feet of mud. And seeing that monster truck just spin the tires and kicking up all that mud, you can see like this is not a pond that anyone could swim in. I don't even think you could really float a kayak in there. Long story short, we conquered the pond with the monster truck. We got it through, but just barely because this was a messy, muddy pit. So you guys are seeing some of the before pictures of what this pond looks like. Now I want to show you what it currently looks like right now. You can see it doesn't look anything like it at all. It's missing all of the water. It's drained. It kind of looks like the Grand Canyon. There's some water kind of like at the bottom of it. But as you guys can see, someone literally stole the pond. This did not happen naturally. Mother Nature did not evaporate at all. This was done by human intervention and I can prove it to you. So now that you know what it used to look like before, now you guys understand that it is possible to steal someone's pond. And now the question is who? Well, I actually know who, and some of you guys might as well. And that person is me. That's right, I stole my own pond, but I'm doing it for a good reason because this pond is really gross and muddy. And I'm hoping that I can dig this thing out, make it look beautiful and healthy and have a full thriving ecosystem in there. And at the same time, make it an awesome water park where it's just beautiful, a place to hang out. Maybe we could put the jet ski, water trampoline, maybe we go swimming in there. But either way, it's gonna be way prettier and much healthier. So this raises the next question. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? And why are you stealing your own pond? Well, this is not a natural pond to begin with. This was actually man-made like 20 years ago. There's a dam on the one side that was built and basically that allows the stream to then fill up and create a pond. But that was over 20 years ago. So over those 20 years, there's been a lot of runoff, tons of storms and falls and winters and all this stuff of things falling and collecting to the point where it's almost completely filled up to the very top and it basically filled in so it's not much of a pond anymore. So my plan is to go in and steal the, all the water out of there, pump it dry, scoop all of the dirt, debris, sticks and leaves out of there and return it to its natural glory. This project absolutely will not be an easy feat. And so I had to collect some equipment starting back to the dumpy, AKA the dump truck. <laughs> the red dump truck you guys remember I bought a little while back and I used it for some fun videos. We put a whole swimming pool in the back and that was super fun. And we'll be able to use this thing for a lot of different stuff stuff and we've already used it to build a bridge on the one side of the house for the fire truck but we really bought this for some big projects like this one and so we're going to be able to scoop a bunch of mud into this dump truck and haul it back to the end of the field to be working on the motocross track which i'll touch on in a second but that's not the only piece of equipment that we'll need we're also going to need the biggest machine i ever purchased in my life a one hundred thousand dollar long reach excavator this thing is huge and not only is it big it's also a very special machine with a very long arm that's designed to do pretty much one thing dredge ponds and that's exactly what I got it because I want to be able to dredge this pond and others that are on the Timor property 
but we're starting with this front one. So now you guys can start to see I've been building an arsenal of in-house equipment so we can tackle big, crazy projects like dredging this pond and building a water park. That's just gonna be the start. The next step is learn how to drive the dump truck and learn how to drive this excavator because they are big, huge machines and no one ever told me how to use them. So we just hopped in and started driving and playing with them. And luckily a YouTuber, Let's Dig 18, lives just down the road and he is one of the best excavator operators there are. And his whole channel is devoted to digging ponds out. How amazing. So he's been hanging out with us, showing us the ropes and helping us fix things. And you guys have already seen some updates to this project where we've been digging and loading the dump truck, hauling it all the way out to the field. And you can see that I kind of messed up and I almost got this huge thing stuck and totaled as it slid into the lake. Luckily, Chris from Let's Dig 18 was able to come over and help me out and save the day but like quite literally, he saved my life and the day. That was such an insane experience. And I know it doesn't look maybe that crazy on camera, but it was, that was terrifying. So the pond is stolen. Well, the water is at least drained out. I stole it, robbed it, flushed it downstream. And now it is time to put in some work. So now it is time to dig out all the junk. And this is what's really fun and satisfying to watch. I absolutely love this stuff. Comment down below if you guys also love to see this crazy big machinery just dig and slop but every scoop is about the size of a bathtub. It's 200 gallons, and that's if I fill it to the brim, and lots of these scoops are heaping, which means they're probably three to 400 gallons, which is about a hot tub size. Every single scoop and dropping it into the dump truck is just so satisfying. It's so heavy and messy and sloppy, and you can see me working the sticks. I am trying so hard. It's like learning to juggle. It is like a brain teaser or something. I don't know, it's just so challenging. But you can see how heavy this stuff is, because when I dump it into the dump truck, you can see the whole thing rock and shake with every load. The amount of dirt we're gonna be able to dig out of this small pond is going to be insane. And you know me, I love riding dirt bikes and we've been riding a lot since we moved to the new Timar house, especially because one of my friends has his own personal motocross track right down the street. And so I was thinking, how cool would it be to build our very own motocross track here in the backyard of the Timar house? We have the perfect spot for it. We just need a bunch of dirt. So this pond project literally has an abandoned motocross track underwater. And we're basically digging it out, loading it into the dump truck, driving it out there, and dumping it where we're gonna start crafting the coolest Team Raw branded motocross track ever. So it's kind of like two projects in one. But not only did someone steal my lake, but we basically discovered an abandoned motocross track underwater. It sounds so funny, but it's like actually kind of true. The amount of dirt we've been scooping is insane. Each dump truck holds so much dirt. You can see when he pours it out, they're basically a jump for every dump. And we are doing dump after dump after dump and we're barely even putting a dent on this pond project. So I think it is fair to say that someone really did steal my pond and that someone was me. We still have a ton of work to do with the dump truck to keep digging this thing out, but we're gonna have a beautiful water park in the front of the house and an awesome motocross track in the back. If you guys are interested in this project, I would love for you guys to stay tuned in the journey of this crazy pond, water park, motocross track project. I'm not even sure what to call it because it's so much fun and there are so many interesting things happening. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way, but you guys are going to be a part of it every single day. So stay tuned and subscribe to my vlog channel, Carter's Life. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.